Hola, soy Mavi y esto es Cápsula Cinefla y estoy con Noah Centineo. ¿Lo dije bien? ¿Centineo? Sí, sí, Centineo, yeah, perfecto. Oh, great, I love your Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> I try. <laughs> That's great. His name is Peter and he and Lord Shimon would be together for, for a meet. Because he didn't even know she existed. But I mailed out a secret love letter that she wrote for him. Can I talk to you? Technically, she wrote five. Anyway, he started fake dating to make his ex-girlfriend jealous. She went nuts. And cover up Lara Jean's real crush. And then everything got all weird and they started real dating on their totally real girlfriend and real boyfriend and they are adorable. These movies are a lot about culture. And culture is like part of our lives and what we come in life. And for us, it's culturizando, so we want to know what you think about it. What does culture mean to you? I think culture is everything. Culture is one of the strongest, um, one of the strongest influences for any human being living on the planet for what their foundational beliefs are, um, the the things that they their value, the things that they value. Um, and I think that yeah, I think culture plays an insane role. I think this is from the real soccer team. <laughs> Sometimes I wish my boyfriend was more anonymous. Let's talk about Peter, right? What will be like an advice to him? So you're 24, almost 24 years old now. Mm -hmm. So what will be a great advice for him and like in his relationship with his father, for example? Because hmm, I think his relationship with Lara Jean is pretty, is pretty, is pretty good, even though it, you know, it gets rocky. But yeah. it, but it's good ultimately. I think the relationship with his father is. It's a difficult one to navigate because I think Peter was used to having his family together and then suddenly it was ripped away from him. And he blames his father for that. Um, and you'd be able to dive more into that dynamic in the third movie. Um, but my advice to Peter would be to just feel what you feel and allow it and be able to express it because it needs to work its way out yeah. in order for for it to ever come to some sort of resolution. Yeah, he's on that like holding <laughs> yeah, his feelings, right? He does, he, he holds them in and they build up and then they kind of, but he's, he also has a, a large emotional capacity. Even when he feels like something is wrong, he can still kind of not explode, which I really respect about him. What about a book? Can you recommend him a book so he can... Peter? Yeah. <laughs> Read Homecoming by Henry Bradshaw. It's about finding your inner child and championing it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Hey. Hi. Say it out loud with me. 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, like always. Have fun. Not too much fun. What will be a great tip to him for dating girls? I mean... Maybe you're not an expert, mm. but he's not an expert either. I mean, you know, he doesn't need tips on dating girls. I think he's doing pretty great with Largy. Just keep communicating, you know? Be honest. <laughs>